me. As you may know, we are engaged. Yeah, we finally did it. Yay for me. So with this video, I figured we would just address it and just explain how the proposal happened. Now I realize I should have filmed the whole thing. TMZ was there, mm. but I was like, you know, I changed my mind. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it between us. Thank you. <laughs> so obviously we got a lot of questions of like how it happened. People want to know. Mm -hmm. So why don't I start? Because it was my proposal. I knew I wanted to propose on the trip. Because mm -hmm. we were going for 30 days and I've been thinking about proposing. So now, obviously, if we go to Japan, perfect moment. You have been thinking about proposing for how long? I've been thinking about it for a, for a while, but like... I haven't decided. It was up in the air in my head. You know me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I, I, I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna get a better opportunity than this. Mm. So that's when I was like, holy shit, yeah, it's happening. You told me that you got the engagement ring two weeks before the trip, around yeah, that time. Yeah. What if like you couldn't find the ring? Yeah, I was worried. Yeah. Mm. I was really worried. What if you didn't arrive in time? I was really worried. I was also worried about going to jewelry stores mm. and people would spot me, you know? Because mm. then Definitely I. Definitely in Brighton. Yeah. yeah. So I knew I had to order online and then it's like I can't see the ring technically. Mm. So I was so worried it wasn't the right ring, the right size. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit. We're gonna fix it. So if you don't see me in a video wearing it or in photos, you know why I'm getting it resized. Don't freak out. Like, my two biggest fear on the day of the proposal was obviously, number one, will she say yes? Really? How would I say no? Actually, let, let three things. That was the number one. <laughs> that we had a really perfect day together. Mm -hmm. I really wanted this to be a good memory. Yeah. That the ring fits. But it does. Just well, I well I would rather that it was too big than too small. Yeah. Like yeah. It, I would be so disappointed if you wouldn't fit it on yeah. your finger. I was so worried it would be too small. <laughs> you like the ring, right? Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. It, it's exactly what yeah. I always wanted. Yeah, I kept glancing over your fingers and I was so worried you would see that I was looking. I knew I was gonna propose. I wanted to do it by the end of the trip. I don't know, I wanted it to finish strong, you know? Yeah, it But did. You, you suspected me at some point, didn't at you? At one point, because I'm usually the planner. I'm the one that like puts together the activities to do on the day. And one night you just randomly came in and you were like, Tomorrow, we're gonna take your tripod and the camera and we're gonna take a photo in this specific place. <laughs> we were cre recreating the Kimo, Kimi no, I don't know what it's called in Japanese. No name. Your name. Your name. Jesus Christ. That was the only time that like you took charge. So mm. I was like, you know, it's out of my control. Maybe he's gonna do something, but you didn't. So then I was just well, like... Well, we got oh. an awesome photo, okay? Yeah. It's not like I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was like, despacito, this needs to happen right now. <laughs> Hakone, the place we went to. It was so beautiful. It had all bloomed at that time as well. So it was just green everywhere. It looked magical. Mm -hmm. We arrived there like after lunch and then we checked into the hotel. You really wanted to do the cable cars. I mean, I wanted to do them too. We, I knew we only had time for one activity. So we reached the cable car and the guy didn't speak any English. Yeah. Which never happens. He was just like, no car, no bus. He was trying to tell us that it closes at five. Mm -hmm. We had plenty of time. For sure. But we couldn't come back with the cable car. That's what he was trying to say. So then he asked like a colleague that actually spoke really Perfect English, English to explain us. So the other guy comes in and he's like, yeah, I really do not recommend going because you're going to get stuck up there. You're not going to be able to come back. And oh we were God. just like... Should we do it anyway? Should we try? I was so freaking out because I'm like, this needs to be the perfect day. What do you mean we can't go? I was even considering in that moment, like, okay, maybe I should just do it some other time then. Oh. Like, we needed this cable car. We got to go from all the green to over this volcano. Mm -hmm. It looked amazing. Mount Fuji said hello. I really wanted to propose with Mount Fuji in the background. I didn't know because like when we were booking this final trip. Yeah. You were like so stressed about it. I was yeah, like, it's I was... fine. We'll book it. You were like, we need to book this right now. And I was just like working on something. I was like, yeah, you didn't care. I spent like hours and you're like, in, 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 in. I should have understood there. We had two options Hakone and uh, the place near Mount Fuji. You really wanted the onsen. So I was trying to get an onsen with the Fuji view. Maybe this is impossible. We actually went with the hotel that I originally wanted. And so it was amazing. It was so good. It was a good choice. Mm. So we got back in time just right amount of time mm -hmm. to yeah, switch into our culturally appropriated Japanese
Japanese. They and... give it to us? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got to our yukata, which is really cute. They give us like this guide on how to put it on. We and went downstairs. We went downstairs. We had a course meal. It came with the booking, yeah. Yeah, eight courses this time, which was reasonable. And the food was amazing. So much good food. We talked about the trip and how great of a trip we had. Mm-hmm. Because it was really an amazing trip. Yeah. It was like a break from our normal routine at home. And yeah. we didn't have to worry about the pugs. Yeah, so we, we could, could just stay out and yeah. adventure. Well, every day was like an adventure. It yeah. really felt so amazing. Oh. So I knew every day more and more and more. Even mm -hmm. though I already knew, I really wanted that moment. And mm -hmm. we got the moment. Oh yeah, because <laughs> we had to eat all this food. Yep. And then somehow we got onto the topic of food. Well, I mean poop. I was just like... You kept going on about poop and I was just like, can we switch subject, please? But you were smiling at me and you were no, laughing so well, I thought it was like... You kept going for like 15 <laughs> minutes and I'm like... So we were eating all this food and we were discussing where does the food go after the stomach? Where does it get stored? Here, that's all I said. Yeah, so we were just talking about all the different organs. And like how I was gonna have an amazing poo. We finished eating and then we went into the elevator and I took a photo of us. We went into the room and I ran to the toilet and you were just like from the other room. When you're done, come out so we can take a photo together. Well, I thought you would just come out anyway, but you clearly weren't. So I was like, hey, let's take a photo. And I was yeah. like, okay, this is all the things I wanted to say. Aww. Make sure you don't mess it up. <laughs> And then he came out and I went down on my knees. Well, I went out to the terrace and the first thing I asked is like, where's your phone? Do I have to take mine? So I was just about to turn back to go get my phone and you just grabbed my hands and went down on your knees. You make it seem like I forced you. It was a very <laughs> delicate, no, perfect it was really moment. Sweet. It was okay. Really sweet. And then I forgot everything I was gonna say. <laughs> so cliche. Sweet too. <laughs> I think I got some words out <laughs> in between. I mean at that point I was just like, what is happening? So i even asked you the day after yeah. to repeat everything yes. so i could write it down because i want to remember it after that we wrote to the people oh yeah that obviously we wanted to announce it so they are all in different places and time zones we were so excited obviously to share the news and we texted everyone and no one replied we just sat there we literally just <laughs> For sat like there minutes, we're like, well I guess no one cares. <laughs> and then my mom was the first one to reply. Yeah. And she just asked, did you say yes or no? And I said, yes, obviously. <laughs> and then she sent me the thumbs up emoji. <laughs> Thanks. That was it. And my parents reply, and they were happy, obviously. Like mm -hmm. everyone was really happy. But yeah. We wanted that internet reaction because when we tweeted it, like everyone was freaking <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I guess it's been a long time. Well, well that's the thing. I feel like our parents kind of had it already. Yeah, they knew it was happening. That eventually it was gonna happen. Yeah. We have been together for almost seven years, so yeah. it was no surprise. And they were just like, oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> We've always gotten comments for like years and years mm -hmm. and years, like ever since we were together. Like, yeah, since the beginning. Yeah, like, you, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? When are you guys get married? But we always felt like there was no need to rush it. I always felt like I was fairly young. Too young to even think about marriage. Like, I don't want to propose to you and then if say, if I don't feel like I'm ready for a wedding. I guess that was my, the reason why I wanted to wait as well. But mm -hmm. also, it needed to be the right time before we would always just move and like, I, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, like everything a lot of, is good right Everything now. is just really good. It's a good time, mm -hmm. perfect time. But PJ and Sophie actually said yesterday that they kind of expected it. They expected it. I have known you for a long time. <laughs> Time, you know, I never know what to expect of you, so I feel like that's why it's expect... exciting to be with me because I force you to do exciting things like going on this trip. Don't touch me. <laughs> I didn't really want to do this trip because it's obviously scary to say, okay, I'm gonna work from another country. What's that gonna be like? I love how that's your priority for me was leaving the pugs. Well, pugs was really difficult as well, obviously. Mm. We were lucky to have died, so yeah. thank you, Dyson, for taking care of the pugs. Yeah, and she was so sweet. She was actually the person with the best reaction by far. She just like freaked out and started crying. It was oh. so sweet. Because she asked me like, would you have proposed if you didn't go on the trip? Because mm. we were supposed to just leave our dogs with the dog sitter. But then the dog sitter messed, up with, messed up with Maya. Like we had to take Maya to the wet vet as soon as we, so we needed like a friend that we could trust to take care of them. Yeah, Last Liza minute. was like, I yes. can do it. I was like, yes. Thanks to everyone for being so nice and supportive yeah, as well. Yeah, everyone was so sweet. Yeah. So thank you, internet, and thank you for understanding it, that it was a private moment because I saw so many people being totally fine. You know, yeah. just a few were like, why didn't you film it? But 
you know, I hope that this video makes up for the absence, you know, in a way. We don't mind sharing about it. Yeah. It's more like we don't always want to have cameras on. Us. Yeah, like it was so special because it was private. Uh -huh. so. No, I think we're the same on that. If other people want to do that, that's yeah. fine. But yeah. yeah, it's just not you and me. That's about it. You know, I had to address it before posting other videos. So now it's out there. Yeah. It's official. See you in the next video. Bye.